Hello everyone, this is Chi and welcome back to my art space. In this video, I'm finally going to review my Caddy Paper sketchbook. I've always mentioned this paper a lot in most of my watercolor reviews. I bought this one from Jackson's Art a while back, but it's also available from Amazon. This particular sketchbook can be a little bit pricey, so I usually wait for sales before I buy a few of them and stock up. It's 100% cotton rag and recycled from t-shirt cuttings, which is their source of pure woven cotton, and it's also handmade and acid-free. I like how this sleeve keeps the sketchbook closed and has the branding and other information on it. So here's our first look on the Cutty Paper sketchbook. Inside, there's this gray cover page, and here are the pages. There are 30 pages inside. Each page has a deckled edge, which I think adds to its charm. I'm going to zoom in to show you the surface of the paper. And you can see that it is textured. And I believe it has 210 GSM thickness. Now on to the most important part, testing the paper by painting. As always, I have prepared a line art to save time. I hope that you can clearly see how the watercolor interacts with the paper. It flows freely on the surface and can be hard to control at times. At this point, I've realized that I should have chosen a different subject to paint, but I really want a new ID, so I persevered. What I love about this paper the most is that you can layer as much as you like and there's no fiber lifting or much paper buckling at all. I did not even use any clips to hold the page down while painting and I did not have any problems. You can find more information regarding how these papers are made by checking out their website which is kadi.com. I did struggle a lot painting the eyes and the glasses on this one because some such fine details are very hard to achieve on this paper when the paint almost have a natural blossoming effect when it gets in contact with the paper's surface. I would also like to say that in my experience, you can use a cheaper brand of watercolors on cutty paper and it makes the colors look more vibrant than if you use your cheaper set on a different type or brand of paper. Cutty paper comes in different sizes and thickness. The biggest one I've painted on so far is an A4 size and I've painted it um, for a commission piece which is I'm very pleased on how the piece turned out because as I've said before, for some reason on a cutty paper surface, the watercolors just pop and look more vibrant than if I used a different brand of um, watercolor paper. Um, I'd even say, I'd even dare go as far to compare it with like the Arches brand. I just find that on a cutty paper surface, the colors are more vibrant than any other surface I've painted on so far. With most of my review out of the way, I would like to take this opportunity to celebrate a little bit for hitting 200 and plus subscribers on this platform. Thank you everyone for your support and appreciation. When I first started posting art content on my channel, I was so unsure of how it will be received by the community, but so far everyone has been so nice and all the interactions that I got on the comment section, they're, they're brilliant. Most of them are very encouraging and the tips are very welcome as well. And I'd rather you tell me how I come across like my art or, or if there's any um, suggestions or even criticisms I welcome them so that um, I'll be able to change them in the future and um, I just want to say thank you very much for for dropping by my channel and leaving those comments because they do encourage me to create more content thank you and here is the finished product I hope that you like it and I hope that you can also try the cutty paper in the future I would like to share with you my very first Caddy Paper sketchbook. I have personalized the front page with my art. I have tried different styles on this paper 
and you can definitely paint on both sides without problems of bleeding through. It's great to practice on, especially with the loose watercolor technique. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions or suggestions, please do pop them in the comment section, and I will try my best to get back to you as soon as I can. Once again, this is Chi. Thank you for watching, and see you on the next one. Bye!